finish and the finish. Just like that. We didn't, we didn't really it... see it because we were racing over here, but it was quite a cool little nutmeg. It's worth a look though, isn't it? Rachel, that was 100 days to go until Sochi Winter Olympics. You've been checking out some of the gadgets, some of the gizmos that people will be... I thought that was someone's phone. Your mum ringing to on telly. Music. Your gadget music. Right, what have you got for us? So I went down to the ski and snowboard show this week and had a little chat with all the guys down there and looked at some gadgets. So the first one, Matt, do you want to try them on? Magnetic I don't want you, goggles. Why you pick on me? Because you love trying them on. Pick on the old fella. Mag magnetic goggles. So it basically, if you're having a um, change of weather on the slope, whip off the top Ah, uh, that's there. good. So the light goes, you need some better goggles, you can whip that off. So they're, mag they're magnetic. magnetic. Magnetic goggles. Definitely the next good. one we had as well was apparently they say it's the first alternative uh, true helmet with the goggles attached. Okay. So I would love one. Basically, of these. it's for people do you want who. To put that on, do you? Yeah. Go for so it. For people that um, have prescription glasses, and this this allows them not to get steamed up. So it's it's quite good if you're wearing glasses. These are a really good idea because you have to. I put clip glasses into the nose pads, and they just slip around and fall out. That's so cool. That looks, so. looks quite handy. They're getting smaller and smaller. Those those helmets, aren't they? They're usually like massive. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay. Helen, you know about about this one. It's the cold Avenger mask, and you wore it. When you went to the South Pole? These are absolutely brilliant. They've been around for a while, but they've in, not been available yeah, in the UK. to Yeah, And so what so they do speak. is they, um, you is breathe it in, it warms and humidifies brilliant. the air, and then it doesn't let your goggles steam up because you breathe the air downwards. Yeah. And it also uh, takes away the moisture from when you wear a snood. Okay. So, so it doesn't go um, all cold on your face. Like, I honestly use this a lot this, because... Helen, this is you. This is you. I wear it every single day. So when you're working hard and you're sort of puffing and panting, you're inhaling lots of moisture, yeah. which is which is difficult for your body to deal with. Okay. And uh, so that warmed it up, stopped me getting a cold, lung infection. So we have these cool skis as well, which are going to Sochi, and they're going to be worn by X Games gold medalists and also a Canadian um, world champion. And basically what they do is they're turned up at the front and the back which means they um, have catch-free takers when you're doing the jumps, because they're for park and pipe skiers. So basically you don't catch when you're jumping, so basically better for doing the jumps. We're more likely to see these around, aren't we, in Sochi, because yeah. freestyle is the being event. introduced. So exactly it is, yeah. They're going to be useful. And I, we introduced these just because we're girls and we appreciate them. They're really fun. So um, four years ago in Vancouver, they generated $14 million with the Canadian gloves, and these ones uh, basically trying to get on the bandwagon and get some money for the Sochi Games. Right. And you okay. can change who you're supporting. Because yeah, no, I like that. Well, they, and and they are all great, great gadgets, don't get me wrong, but I'll tell you what is better than this. A sea lion stealing... You're so excited about this. We actually, we all love it. A sea lion stealing a massive fish. You're, gonna, you're all thinking, what is Dawson talking about? When you see it, you'll know why.